At this factory, at an economic zone on the outskirts of Phnom Penh, workers produce metal casts used to store and transport car parts. The stainless steel baskets, destined for Japan, are part of a larger inter-Asian supply chain. It is this type of sophisticated manufacturing, one that demands greater skills and leads to higher wages, that the Cambodian government is trying to attract, attempting to reduce its dependency on garment production. Drawn by Cambodia's increasing regional connectivity and improving infrastructure, a handful of auto parts and electronics manufacturers like Nikko Kinzoku have set up in the country. Factory manager Yoshiyuki Sato says Japanese manufacturers are looking for alternatives to traditional Asian manufacturing hubs like China, where labor costs are rising. If we focus on Asia, also Thailand also a little bit expensive. After decades of civil war, robust growth in Cambodia's garment industry, combined with the country's agriculture and tourism sectors, has led it to become one of the fastest growing economies in the region. May Kalyan, a senior government advisor, says for the economy to continue its growth trajectory, manufacturing must diversify into more sophisticated production. Now we are at a stage where we are to move up another uh, step higher. Uh, if we depend on garment or depend on agriculture, depend on tourism alone, it's not enough. We have to move higher. However, development will take time. An Asian Development Bank survey of manufacturers released last year found that corruption, low skill levels and the high cost of unstable electricity remain constraints on business. But despite competition from more mature manufacturing sectors in neighbouring Thailand and Vietnam, economists like Chan Sapal are optimistic that Cambodia can play a major part in the regional supply chain. In the industrial approach by major manufacturers is that it, it takes a cluster approach. So they may have parts produced in Thailand, but some produced in Cambodia and some in Vietnam. And they know how to place their factories to get the most out of the advantage of the location. Despite the impressive growth figures, Cambodia is still one of the poorest countries in Asia. Policy makers will need to ensure that red tape is cut and the regulatory environment stable if the country is to one day become a major manufacturing hub in Asia. Daniel de Carteret for VOA News, Phnom Penh.